This is Saro. In this video, we are going to learn how we can create an app that can show the history about country or their places. We can create this app like as a tourist guide app. So let me show the example of this app. Then we will create this app from scratch. That's our app here. So whenever someone open your app, so it's look like this. There's a map uh, and there's a marker. You can put that marker and that all over the world. Like uh, you can put in the US, you can put in the Australia, you can put anywhere in this uh, all these marker. Now, whenever someone click on that marker here, suppose let me just click on the, that left side marker. Click click on that. You can see that his location is Porbandar and Porbandar is city in India, a state of Gujarat and this is the information about that particular city now if you want to know more about that port wonder or like uh, if you want to know about distance and everything so just click on that no more or if you don't want to know about this so just click on okay so you will redirect here but if you would just go here and click on no more so you will redirect to the another page and it's look like here port wonder map and you can see the direction starts in we, we just redirected that user to the map of that port wonder now you can go back so just need to press that go back button and you can choose another another like like marker see daily no more you can go here daily like that so that's the overall app we will create in this video so here we go so we are using here mit app inventor to create this app so click on start new project and in my project name is like tour guide or you can to, you can say anything uh, about this app just comment on the video what is the perfect name for this app so we need here one simple layout okay like this vertical arrangement simple and make this one width is fill parent and height is fill parent now we need one map here so in the left side you will find map we need to just drag and drop this map here and make sure this width and height is fill parent height is fill parent like this you can assign any coordinate here like let me just show you i'm using your india center point longitude so i will just choose this one like uh, let me just copy paste this go to the mit app inventor paste it like this and make sure you remove the and and that things like this and just enter and you'll find here this look like this your map now make sure you have to use your zoom level at least five okay and then your map is look like this you can make it as a four also so make it more perfect to display like this one so you can see that's the map of india now what i will do here i will drag and drop some marker here suppose we have to show the history of the india like suppose we have to show the port bandar we have to show delhi or uh, something chennai and all these uh, cities we have to show and we have to show some unique thing about that city that particular place so we just need to drag and drop here like this so if i just choose like uh here you can see the poor bundle and that side so i will mark my that one here like this poor bundle and you have to just define other marker like this like simply just call for daily so you can just mark here then we can mark in hyderabad like this we can mark any more places here like let me just mark this as this one now that's the four points now what i will do here it's simple now we need to just hide this void to arrangement you can add more marks here and what you can do here you can just add all marks in the all over the world like you can mark anywhere like when you can mark in the us here like and you can mark in china and you can mark in australia anywhere in the world you just need to mark like this and you just need to drag and drop that marker in that particular place there now what i can do just hide this vertical arrangement like this and i need one more layout simply vertical arrangement here and make sure width and height is full parent and i'm going to use your one user interface is web viewer this one and one use button and its button is go back something like this back button make this like design like this it's simple design now whenever we click on any marker so we can get the information after getting information if someone want to know more about that place then we will redirect them with the location uh, in that web browser so 
let me just hide this virtual arrangement too and now go to the block section but make sure we need one more thing here that one is in the left side you will find the notifier just drag and drop it here like this now let's go to the block so whenever someone click on that marker one and we know that the marker one is uh, related to let me just hide this and make it visible on this marker one this one is in a port bundle so you have to you should know like why we should know about port bundle so just search on google like port bundle and you can just copy paste that city name and you have to copy that the city city description so go to the MIT app inventor we will call here one notifier and it is like the this one notifier we will call here and we need some text this one message we will just in the title we will add here port bundle it means that city name and in the message we can add some text related to this like that's the text i'm going to add here in that message box and in the button one we will say like uh, no more no more or in the button two we can just say okay so whenever someone click on that port button so let me show you how it's work right now i'm using here this one see that's the your app here let me just click on here in that marker see that port bundle and about that city third button no more okay and cancel you can hide this cancel button you know because we don't need it so make it false like this now whenever someone click on that uh, no more button so we have to rewrite them or we can select okay so we are here now how we can do that so simply just click on notifier and you will find after choosing this one so after choosing this one so we have to redirect them somewhere so it's simple firstly we will hide this visible uh, vertical arrangement one and we will show this one another true or uh, make it hide for vertical arrangement one one hide and two is true now after choosing this so we, we have to rewrite them so we need some information like about poor bundle so what i will do here i will just open the map google map and just type here suppose poor bundle poor bundle Gujarat, and we need to copy that url go to the mit app inventor and whenever someone click on that after choose so we will rewrite them to the here so i'm using your home url sat home url this one this one here so after choosing that from url we will redirect it to here like drag and drop it here and use it and copy paste this one it's simple now we need to do one thing here we can redirect them to the port bundle in the map okay so we need to we have completed that true and false for hide and show now we need to do one more thing here whenever someone click on that button one so we have to go back so it's simple so for that we just need to use here but here see there uh, because there is one thing let me show you let me just hide the vertical arrangement false and make it uh, one is true vertical arrangement is true now if i just click on that suppose the another uh, another marker so this will again show me the uh, again home url uh, like a core vendor so how we can change it so for that we will use your condition so use control and go to the if else and before this we are going to use one more thing here that one is we need to assign some value to the variable so click create just one variable and that name is like place count and uh, you can mention or you can just assign that to value zero here now whenever someone click on that marker one it means any poor one that place then we will assign that value that one value to one like this same okay and whenever someone uh, choose the marker then we have to get the condition like uh, go to the logic and if the if the global count this one global count value is global count value is zero it means this one so global count value is one just make it one here side view then one then we will call it here now this this block going to repeat again and again so that's why we will create the procedure for that procedure 
just copy paste here make it here and call this procedure here second time simply now we have to do again for other condition like else if then just copy paste this whole thing like if the value is 2 like suppose 2 then we have to open another value so we have to set this so let me just set this call procedure here now for 2 so for that just use your one more place so you can see whenever someone go to the design and whenever someone click on that marker 2 so go to the block go to the block and just copy paste this as it is and make sure this in its like global is here and change that marker to 2 whenever someone will go on 2 then we have to display another city suppose Delhi copy this I might have to title is Delhi no more and about Delhi I need to use your some words from your like a message paste it whenever someone click on that marker so we will set that global value place count to 2 and whenever someone go here so we will display the daily you can use the url of google or you can use the map url also as you wish because we are creating your tourist type of app so we are going to display the direction of that city or that place to the user so that's why so new daily i just select and copy that url from above url this one just go to mit app no enter and we just need to copy paste that url here simple one more thing here like uh, whenever someone choose the any choice like if someone say okay no more so this will automatically go to their home url in the web view but if someone say like okay only they don't want to go they don't want to know more so we have to just use one condition here to control this like uh, let me just use if here and overall if else in the that loop and we need just need to use logic and this is just our nested uh, as if and if the choice is if the choice is no more if the choice is equal to no more then they, we will proceed otherwise no simple so if you have some doubt you can ask one comment thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye